believe I am back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and are okay and all that jazz. I don't even know my intro anymore because it's been a while and I have nothing but sorry to say about it. I am, I am sorry. A lot of stuff's been going on. A lot of things have been happening. Am I too dark? I'm making it about me already, aren't I? I mean, you know. A lot was going on, a lot of things have been happening. It's just life hits you like a ton of bricks and takes no prisoners and is just not the best at times. But I am back and I know I say this so often. I know I do, I do. But I'm really hoping that it is for, for good now because I really do miss filming so much, you guys. And I have so much new makeup and I have so much like ideas and just I'm just like a ball of excitement right now if you guys are interested in getting a look from the thumbnail or just getting ready with me then please keep watching I remember that bit boom so start off with absolutely nothing has changed this is still my ride or die it's still my favorite thing in the world it's the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray Skin Balancing Evening Skin Tones and Oil Absorbing I always find that it says that but I feel like I always I never look matte or dry when I use it but I mean I'll, I still love it so even if I did I'd probably use it and it matches everything that's going on ah! I want to do a tutorial using this color but I feel like pe will people like it do people only like it on their nails and their clothes and their trainers not on their face I don't know I do so I still do it anyway so I'm just gonna spray this all over and I'm gonna be doing a matte foundation today I know I know nothing's changed I just want to see if I like it because I feel like I've used it before but I can't remember so I am going to make myself quite dewy and quite like glowy. So these are the primers I'm using. They're both from Neoid, Noid, Nioid, Nioid, I don't know. They're the Photography Fluid Opacity and I've got the 8% and the 12%. The 8% is like a bronzy colour and I'm going to put that like my bronzy and contoury areas. And then the 12% is like a whitish like iridescent colour. So I'm going to put that in like my highlighted areas. And I have kind of been obsessed with both of these. Um, and doing it like this. I think I actually need to buy backups already because it's, it's looking quite low. Um, and now we're getting into summer. Well, spring. I kind of want to use these mixed in with foundation and like the body and everything, but okay. So like I said, we're going glowy today, guys, because I'm very worried that this matte foundation is going to make me too matte. And I know you guys are like, then why are you going to wear it if, it's, if you're worried about it? I just, I can't remember if I like it or not. I'm pretty sure I've used it and I've got really bad skin at the moment and it says it's full coverage. So yeah, those are my reasonings for it. My skin is just crazy. You guys can, this is going to be a long video. I mean, I can tell. I feel like you guys can tell, you know what I mean? Um, my skin has just been crazy these past few months, pretty much since like Christmas time. And originally I thought I was having like an allergy to something. I still feel like it may be an allergy. Um, because I've been to the doctors and everything. My doctor is the worst person I've come across. She's absolutely no help. And honest to God, you guys, this like, oh. I literally, I've been there for a few things now. And one of the times that I went, like, you guys are aware of my parents passed away and everything. My mom had breast cancer and like, I know that's super, super popular and everything. Like, not in a good way, but like breast cancer is like a really popular cancer and like a lot of women um, get it and men as well. Um, so I was basically, I was just saying to her, I was just like, oh, like I'm really worried because like, my mum had it, kind of be like hereditary and everything, because when my mum had it, I was very young. Um, I'm just going to go in with the matte pore stick, the, the matte, the MAC pore stick, not matte, oh my god, but it is a matte, anyway, um, I was like, because she was really young, I couldn't really ask that many questions, and I never really had any, like, with the women in my life that I could really kind of talk to, and I was just like, oh, like, I'm worried if it's hereditary, I was like, I don't even know how to check, she wouldn't go on YouTube. Now, I love YouTube, I do YouTube, like, I'm all for, you know, going on YouTube and, and finding how to do, you know, a, a brown smoky eye and, you know, a review of, like, the latest makeup collection. But to check if I have breast cancer or not, you want me to go onto YouTube? No, hun. So I've kind of written that lady off now, like, I'm just like, no, it's okay. Um, what was the even point of this whole thing? Oh yeah, so my allergy. So I asked for an allergy test and she's like, well, what do you want to be known if you're allergic to? And I was like, huh? She was just like, we can do allergy tests for everything, so what do you want? I was like, well, I don't know. 
So I'm absolutely no help. So I'm kind of like going to self-diagnose me. And I thought it, I was lactose to begin with. But I started to get these massive like rashes and like my skin was just like burning when I started having lacto-free milk. And then Tom said it may be milk protein, which I didn't know was a thing. So now I'm going to try and eliminate that and see if, if my skin dies down. That was the whole point of that. All I've done is prime my face and it's nearly been seven minutes. So let's, let's just move on. I am growing my brows out again. I want this to be the last time I do it, but it may be like a few months that I'm growing them out for. So the only brow style that kind of works for when they're growing out is my fluffy brow. So I'm gonna do a fluffy brow today. I will skim through it. And then I'm just going to prime my lids using Max Lane Low. I'm actually just going to buff this out slightly because I won't be able to take this seriously. So the palette I'm using I've never used before, it's like new to me. I've had it since Black Friday, which if you guys remember was in October or was it November? Last year anyway. We're now in March. So that's how much I've literally been needing to film and I just, yeah. So it's by the brand OPV Beauty London. I want to say this is pronounced ocean, but I don't know for sure. So if I'm saying it wrong, I'm really sorry. But look at these freaking colors and just tell me that you are not obsessed as much as I am. Okay. Hello. Hello. So I'm going to use quite a few of the mattes, like this is just calling my name. And then maybe one of the shimmers, but I do have other bits of shimmers that I want to kind of test out as well so we'll see but i'm so freaking excited oh my god i'm just so excited to get this on my eyes you guys have no ideas so i'm gonna start off by highlighting my brow bone and i'm gonna take the shade amber which is like the white frosty kind of one and this is just a zoeva 230 lux pencil brush and i'm just gonna pop that up there just so that here's a has lifted <laughs> I definitely need a brow bone highlight when I've got these bushy ass brows. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go, oh yeah. Okie dokie, so I'm first gonna go in with sandalwood, which is kind of like a yellowy mustardy kind of shade. It's not like bright yellow. It's got like a slight depth to it, but it looks on the brush a bit yellow actually. This is a Zoeva 228 Lux Crease Brush. Oh yeah, it's quite yellow. Ignore the mustard comment, that was my bad. And I'm just gonna buff this in the crease area and make this like my transition. So I don't mind going quite big with this. So I'm just gonna literally pack this on so that I get a really good blend and a really good transition with this. It's mm, jumping a little bit. a bit better. So it's just ever so slightly jumping. And I'm gonna go in with Aura. I think I'm gonna skip out on using this one today even though I really want to. Um, actually I might use him like on the lid and then put like one of the glitters on top. So I'm gonna go in with Aura which is like the matte brown in the palette. Not that that dark which is quite nice. This is a Zoeva 221 Looks Off Crease Brush. There we go. I'm just gonna build this in the crease area. And by the way, if my hair looks like wet or anything, it's wet. Mm -hmm. Beth at the gym, busting my ass. And I was just like, I need to film today before the sun disappears for, for the rest of the year. <laughs> so I don't really have time to wash my hair and dry it. Because I went to the gym so late. I woke up really late. Tom's away last night so i got out of bed to myself and whenever i'm sleeping by myself i just i can sleep for so long it takes me so long to get to sleep without without tom next to me but once i'm asleep oh my god i'm like dead to the world so i slept till like 11 a.m or something crazy perfect this is going into like an orange by itself anyway i'm gonna slightly darken it i didn't really want to use the veils I can always make it into like a spotlight. 
Mm. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is Majestic Mystic Mystic, which is like a purplish. I kind of wish there was like we swap out one of like the brown, like the shimmeries, because there's quite a lot for like a dark brown. But I mean, it's still really nice. This is a Zoeva two three four brush, and I'm just gonna pack this on the inner and outer corner. I'm gonna make this into a spotlight eye because there's no like darker brown. And then I can put that orange in the middle with like a shimmer on top. And then don't worry if you get it in the middle of the eye because we're just going to go over it anyway. Just go back in with that 221 with a tiny bit more of that brown. And then just on the edges I'm just going to buff it slightly. I seem to have lost that kind of purpley shade but that's fine. This is a Zoeva 224 Lux Define Crease Brush. I've just mixed a bit of the purple and a bit of that brownie shade on it. And I'm going to kind of... This purple seems to disappear when I want to buff it. Which is slightly annoying. But it only seems wants to disappear from this eye. Whereas this eye, it's a little bit better. Do you see how that's just kind of like nothing sticking down there? How strange. It just looks, oh my god, it just looks so weird. Why is it not sticking? I don't think it's the palette because obviously the palette's buffing on the other side. It's just not buffing there. And then when it does buff, it blends into nothing. I'm going to go with that neon shade, which is the shade Vetivia? I don't know that one. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. And I'm just going to take it on the other side of that brush and I'm just going to pack it in the middle. And then we'll put a shimmer on top of him. I just want it, even if I just press it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know you guys. I don't know if I'm going to use this palette again. I'm feeling very, very, very stressed. I'm very stressed. Take the yellow again, because this has gone a lot higher than I originally anticipated it to go. And then I'm just gonna clean up my under eye area. Right, I'm just gonna put this shimmer on and kind of hope for the best. So it's from Doll Beauty, who I love, and it's the Floss Pigment. And it's a very, 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 very pretty. I'm just going to take the 242 and spray it and then I'm just going to dab it over that neon middle bit. Do you know what? When looks go wrong, glitter and sparkles and lashes, they hide it all. Have any of you guys got the palette? Has anything like that happened to you? Or has it happened to you with another palette and it's like a fault on you like mine do you, do you know what i mean like i just don't get if it's the palette or if it's me or what so before i move on to the rest of the eyes i'm gonna move on to my skin because i just feel like i'm not gonna be able to finish this eye until like i've got a base on because i just feel weird so the foundation that i've been talking about is the nyx can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation i have the shade neutral tan um i can't remember if i've used this or not i i've used it but i can't remember if i've swatched it or if I've used it by myself or if I've used it in a video or what. So I'm just gonna apply some. There you go, it's got very bad skin. So there's quite a few pumps going, I know. And then I'm just gonna spray my brush, just so that gives it, I mean, a tiny bit of dewiness. It's not gonna give it a major amount, is it? Um, and I'm just gonna apply this and buff it out, basically. Oh, I like the color. Maybe I have used this, oh, I can't remember if I've used it or not. Yeah, I really like the colour, the colour matches quite well to be fair. And you can most definitely tell this foundation wants to be matte. Well, like it is matte, but ugh. I've got a bit of a glow still from all the base stuff we've used. The cream contour I'm going to go in with is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. Yeah, in the, in, in the shade Suede. And I'm just gonna cream contour with this. Do I need a darker shade of this? 
And I'm just gonna buff it out. Oh my god, I can't wait to put my beauty blender on my face. My skin is feeling very matte already. <gasps> I haven't done like a full beat in so freaking long. I'm so excited to be doing one today, even though it's gone terribly wrong. I'm still very, very, very excited for like lashes. Oh my god, I can't wait to put lashes on. And then I'm gonna go in with the Shishido Perfecting Stick Concealer. I have the shade 11 Light. And I'm just gonna put that everywhere I need to. And then with my new, look at this, ah, I love with a new. So this is what a new one looks like and that's what a grotty one looks like. I know, it's so bad. I need to clean my stuff so bad. Um, this is a Morphe, I've actually got the name here. Flawless Beauty Sponge. And it's the best beauty blender sponge ever. I've loved it for quite a while now. Mm, yeah, for quite a while. I'm trying to think how long. Um, I think it's the absolute bee's freaking knees. I don't use anything else. I do own others, but I won't use them. Um, it's way better than the real... I don't like the real techniques. I don't understand how people like it. I don't know. I just don't know if I've maybe had a bad batch, but they've never worked out well for me. Um, I'm a Morphe. Morphe sponge girl. For life now this and then i'm going to set it all down with my favorite mineralized loose foundation by mac and this is just the sephora number 79 brush i have had this brush for years and it is my all-time favorite for this i'm not sure as to why but it just it is it's just the best i think it's the fact that it's like a bit more oh hello Hello, honey. You read it? Okay. I think it's because it's got like a tulip kind of tip. So it's a bit more like tapered at the tip. Um, which means you can kind of get into like the eye socket more, which I like. But it's just such a nice brush. So I'm just going to finish off my brows and make them floofy. Part of me doesn't want to make it black, like I don't want to do a black liner, I kind of want to do a brown. So I'm actually going to go in with a little brown liner um, and line my eye, my waterline. Oh, there's a hair on that, don't get that in your eye. So my lower lash, I'm going to go in, I'm petrified, I'm not going to lie, I'm absolutely freaking petrified. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to go in with the the yellow first actually and just buff that so that these eyes are kind of you know connecting at some stage and then I'm gonna go in with the brown that we used and then I'm just gonna take the purple and push it in the lash line the purple there's nothing coming up I think it's the purple you know I'm going to curl my lashes and mascara and falsies. The falsies I will be using are Lily's in the Style Miami. So that is the look with the lashes on. I'm just going to go back in with that amber shade, the white one, just to highlight my inner corner. And then that is the completed eye look. Morley that side, because that side, like I said, I was too scared to blend it out. So Morley... Right, so let's move on to the rest of the face and then we can wrap this up because I feel like I've been filming for my life. This is the YSL Bronzing Stones. I love this and I've loved it for ages. Um, and I just thought I'd whip it back out because I haven't used it for a little while. I want to do that. I don't know what the, the name of the type of video is, but you know when you like use your old products like I've used I've, I've done one similar where I've like done a makeup tutorial about like products I haven't used in ages but I think someone's made like a whole name for it or something I'll have to find out what it's called but like use products that I haven't used in ages um, and then I'm just gonna go in with a bit of NARS casino bronzer as well just to slightly intensify 
this area. For Belusha, I'm gonna go in with, oh, I didn't know there's so many Nas stuff, I'm sorry. With Nas Taj Mahal, which even still to this day is one of my favorites. It's like an orangey shimmery one. And I've used it in a tutorial. I dedicated a whole tutorial with it where I used it as an eyeshadow as well. And then I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Glow Stick. I haven't used this in ages. And I saw it and I was like, hello, Han, let's use you. So I'm just going to literally swipe it on the side of my beauty blender. Or my Morphe sponge, whatever. And just apply it at the tops of my cheekbone. Morphe times Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise. And I'm going to take... Mm, this one's and this one's those twos. Hello, Linda. We have arrived. Very pigmented. I nearly forgot how pigmented. And then I'm going to take my Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray and go on my sponge and just dab over it just to push it all in. And then lips. I kind of want to do like a nudie orangey lip. Mm, we'll see. I'm going to go in with Max Strip Down Liner. And the lipstick I'm going in with is a MAC one as well. Sorry. It's the only one that I know off the top of my head I know I want. Sweet and Sour. So many of my lipsticks look like that. So gonna okay. So then guys, this is the completed makeup look. <clears throat> I can't believe the eyeshadows. I need to figure out if that was me or the palette. And I'm gonna try and use the palette again, either in a tutorial or like me playing around with it by myself and let you guys know my thoughts because there were scaries that I couldn't blend it and then it was disappearance. So hopefully it was just me and that next time it like sticks um, but yeah this is the look I came up with though either way like a nice little soft smoky spotlight with like a peachy orangey lip but I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did then please give it a thumbs up I have planned a playing with new makeup and a drugstore look as well if you guys have any other suggestions then please as always let me know in the comments down below and until next time I will see you guys very soon don't forget to comment share and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one bye